Jocelyn Reynolds and I'm the founder of Heartbreak to Healing where I help people who have been through a divorce, the loss of a loved one, or even the loss of a lifetime dream to move through the grieving process, to understand what to expect and what's normal, and to help them to rediscover their purpose and to find hope and healing once more. I'm so happy to talk to you because I love sharing what my life is like now. I'm happy. I feel joy almost every day. I feel like I have sweet relationships with my family and with loved ones, and I'm meeting wonderful new people all the time. I have so many great friends, and I feel like I have all the support that I need. I feel a strong connection to my higher power, and that gives me a lot of strength and clear direction and a lot of peace. I'm just happy. But it wasn't always like that. I remember the day I received a phone call telling me that my husband had been found on the bottom of a pool and was being taken to the hospital. I remember the shock and that I was shaking so badly that I could hardly even drive to the hospital where he was being taken. I remember waiting outside in the hall for what seemed like hours until the doctor finally emerged to tell me that he hadn't made it. I remember the anger and the confusion, and then finally the realization that it really was all true. I wondered if that ache in my heart would ever go away, and it, some days it felt like it would just crush me. And I remember when I would look at people around me and everyone felt sorry for me, and so I did too. I remember that dull ache that settled in and how I would go to bed just not even being able to wait for the loss of consciousness to finally give me some peace and how I hated waking up. And I remember wondering if my family wouldn't be better off without me. Have you ever felt that way? And then I remember the day that I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw. I didn't want to be a victim for one more day. I didn't want people to look at me and think, poor Rosalind. I wanted to figure out how to live after tragedy, and not just to live, but how to find happiness again. So I started searching. And as I searched, I learned so much, and I found out that I had way more control over my own happiness than I had ever imagined. And as I started using the principles and the tools that I found, my life got better, and I learned a sentence. Life won't change until I change. And as I began making the right changes, my life did improve. And as I started to feel better, my heart went out to those who were struggling and who were grieving around me, and I wanted to help. So I wrote a book, I became trained, and I became certified so that I could be a mentor and help people through that grieving process. If you've suffered a loss, I understand. I've been there. I know how you may wonder if it's even worth trying for one more day. But can I tell you, it does, it can get better. As you learn principles, as you use tools, there are things you can do to help you move forward in life and to find peace. If you are ready for a change, I'd love to help you. I will never say that it's easy, but it's definitely worth it, and it is much simpler than you might have thought. My name is Rosalind Reynolds, founder of Heartbreak to Healing, and believe me when I say life can be good again. It's my hope to help you find hope and healing and happiness once more. If you want to sign up for three free chapters of the book that I wrote, you can go to www.heartbreaktohealing.com and register, and I'll send you those three free chapters. And you'll also find some more principles that you can start putting into your life to help you find that healing that you're hoping for.